What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. And today we are doing a big PSA reveal with two different submissions. So it's kind of interesting the way this worked out that I was able to get both of these back at the same time because they were set at two different levels at very different times. So on the left stack here is an eight card submission. This was a value order, $30 per card, um, sent at the beginning of June. So if you can you know, try and remember what it was like back at the beginning of June, the $30 sub was the new cheap sub. This is before all the $18 subs, $15 specials, things like that. But for whatever reason, it just took forever to grade. It took over six months, just got it back now at the end of December. Uh, it's being sent at the beginning of June. So I don't know why this one took so long, uh, but it's kind of a bummer that it was sent at the $30 level when I could have sent it a few weeks later at the $18 bulk level. This stack here, 14 cards sent at the $18 level at the beginning of October. So only two months this one came back. So trying to judge PSA's timelines, just forget it. There's no way you can do it. I, I can never, you never know what's gonna come back faster and what's gonna come back slower. Uh, but probably if I would have known these $18 um, bulk subs were gonna come back so fast, I would have waited to send these at the $18 level. But again, when I sent these at the $30 level, that $18 level didn't exist and hadn't existed for almost two years at that point. So that's kind of the reasoning why I sent those at the $30 level at the time. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what kind of grades we got. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, click that bell for notifications so you get notified whenever we post new stuff. Um, we did doing a little bit of traveling, um, got sick on the way back. You maybe could hear it in my voice um, trying to power through and get through this, uh, this reveal though. Um, in the background, we did a PSA sub last week with some junk wax stuff, got some really nice Jordan, got two of these Fleer PSA 10s, we got one PSA 10 on the 90s Skybox. And all right, moment of truth now. $30 per card of value submission sent at the beginning of June. It's been a while since I've seen these, so I wanted to do this one first to see how we can do. So first card, Josh Giddy Donruss. Looks like a base from the back, but on the front, this is the hollow teal laser. Pulled this out of a mega box. Uh, looked really good when I sent it in. So let's go ahead and reveal the grade. All right, $30 value sub, not off to a great start. PSA nine, <laughs> so let's start our nine stack right there. And we got a lot of cards. So I'm gonna try and go through these a little bit faster than I normally do. Luca, Prism, you can see it says Prism on the back. This one is just a silver, nothing crazy, but again, with all the centering issues I've seen in prison this year, this one was perfect, 50-50 all the way around. Didn't find any other issues, so I thought this had a good shot at a 10. Let's see. All right, there we go, first gem mint 10. Let's start our 10 stack right over here. So we got a 10 and a nine. I guess I'll leave room for eights. Hopefully we don't get any eights in this sub, though we'll have to wait and see. LeBron, card number one from 2020 Prism, the Kobe tribute card. This is just the base. Um, I already sent in a red, white, and blue. I got a PSA 10 on that. Um, I sent in, a, I think I might have a green in this stack over here, if I remember correctly, or that may be in a different sub. I can't quite remember. Um, but again, centering issues plagued this card really badly, but this one looked great. So thought I had a shot at a 10. Let's see. All right, there we go. 10 stack, number two right there. Jersey Swap, Zion and Ja. Both these guys were kind of down a little bit when uh, when I sent this in. Maybe not Ja so much, but Zion definitely was since he still hadn't been playing. Um, this is the Purple Explosion from uh, the Mega Boxes. So this one's not numbered, um, but the Purple Explosions were exclusive to the Mega Boxes um, and are not super rare, but you know somewhat limited compared to a lot of the other parallels. And I thought this one looked great. Um, so let's see how we did on this one. Ah, another nine. I'm not sure why this one got a nine. Tough to tell, centering maybe, maybe it's skinny over here and a little fat over there, but I don't know, tough to tell without the real, the borders, maybe top to bottom centering, I have no idea, but I didn't really find any issues. So I ah, kind of bummed on that one. I was hoping that would get a 10. All right, so we got two tens, two nines. Now we're on, I think the, the rest of this sub is all Giannis rookies that I was kind of holding on to and was waiting for a cheaper option to grade. So at the time, this was the cheapest option. Um, so I just sent in all the Giannis rookies I have. I actually pulled all these uh, myself on the channel, did a, a big series of 2013, 14 boxes looking for Giannis rookies. So all these four here I pulled um, within the past couple years myself. This is from Prestige. And 
It actually looks really good. Um, I know I wasn't, I'm not expecting tens on any of these um, just because the older stuff does sometimes seem harder to grade, but even with the dark edges and corners, I'm not really seeing any white or anything. So um, I'm hoping at least a nine, let's see. Oh, nice. Gem Mint 10 on the Giannis Prestige Rookie. I don't think this is an easy card to gem because again, with the dark edges and corners, wow, very excited about that one. All right, awesome, very happy with the 10 on that Giannis. Let's see if we can keep it going. Uh, these next few, I don't think we're in as good shape. You, I can see already, there's definitely lots of white on that bottom corner, white down there. All black borders, very hard to grade. This card, the pinnacle, same thing. You can definitely see this corner is definitely kind of messed up. So, oof, I don't know, hoping for a nine. Let's see how we do on this one. Ah, eight, yeah, I'm not surprised. That corner's pretty bad. So PSA eight on that Giannis. Okay, let's uh, do another one. This was the base Panini. Uh, same thing here. I know the edges and corners may have been a little bit rough. Definitely a little bit of white down there. Mm, hard to see on the video, but I can see a tiny bit up there. Let's see how the front looks. Yeah, a little bit of white on the corners. Doesn't look as bad as the last one we just looked at. So maybe a nine on this one. Ah, another eight. Mm, I don't know. Pretty I think this is pretty close to a nine, but I can't get too mad at an eight on that. And last one from the $30 value sub. Hoops, base rookie. And this one looked really good. Centering is just on point all the way around. This is a pretty easy card to grade. I know when I sent it in, I thought there may have been a very minor corner issue, but it's so minor you can barely see it. So got to get at least a nine on this one. Come on, let's go. Oh, all right. Two tens on two Giannis rookies. Very nice. So that's our $30 sub. So we got two eights, two nines, and four tens. So overall, not too bad. Um, let's see how we do on our bulk. Uh, $18 something So 14 cards, $18 per card. Um, <clears throat> let's start going through them one by one. A lot of Cade in here, <laughs> unfortunately. I mean, I think he, I still think he's going to be a good player. So these are probably going to be holds for the time being while he recovers uh, from his season ending shin surgery. So hopefully he'll come back strong next year. Revolution cards typically grade pretty well. I didn't see any issues with this one. They, all these Chinese New Year ones for the rookies for whatever reason, they didn't really add enough color to that New Year <laughs> where it says on the back. But let's see, can we get a 10 on our first one? All right, yes we can. Let's, I'll start a separate stack for the, for the uh, $18 sub. We'll see how we do here. All right, Jalen Green, same card. Chinese New Year, red cracked dice, awesome color match, just like the Cade. Let's see, can we get another 10? Ooh, we can, Gem Mint 10 on the Jalen Green. All right, let's keep it going. Come on, Josh Giddy. This one, I think I pulled out of a blaster. This is a purple wave, I believe. Yep, there we go. And again, Prism, it always has rough centering. It seems, like, especially the last couple of years, it seems like it's getting worse. Um, and the centering on this one looked really good. Um, maybe a teeny, teeny, teeny bit fat on the left compared to the right, but it's, I don't know, that's minuscule. I think it's really close to 50-50. Come on, let's get a 10 on the giddy. Oh, there we go. I am liking this start. Three tens so far from the $18 sub. Got another prism, Mobley. This is just a base, I believe, um, but it looked good to me. Um, let's keep it going with the tens, come on. Oh, there we go. First nine. That's the first miss of the, the break so far. So PSA nine on the base, probably going to lose money on that one. I don't know if the, the PSA nine base mobile is going to sell for all that much. Uh, Cade looked, uh, this is another base as well. This one looked pretty good to me when I sent it in. Um, but we just got a nine on the mobile, so I don't know. All right, can we turn it back around? Let's get a 10 on the Cade. There we go. Love it. Base. Cade, PSA 10. All right, Jonathan Kuminga <laughs> had a really rough start to the season, uh, but he's starting to play a little bit better. Um, I'm sure he's going to get more playing time with so many people out on the Warriors right now. Pulled this out of a T-Mall box. It's not numbered, but it's the, the Hyper Blue Parallel, which looks really cool. Nice uh, nice color match with the blue Golden State jersey there. Let's see how we get did on this one. All right, another Gem Mint 10. Wow, we are crushing this sub so far. So far. 
five tens, only one nine. I'm digging this so far. All right, next one, another hoops. This is Josh Giddy. This was a parallel, I think. Yeah, there we go, purple. Thought this one had a good shot at a 10. Uh, I don't know. Centering uh, centering's a little off. Looks a little fat on the left compared to the right now that I look at it. So I don't know. Let, let's see if we can still get a 10. I'm not sure. Ah, nine on this one. Yeah, now that I look at it, centering is definitely a little bit off on this one. Even that top left corner, teeny bit of white there. So, okay, yeah, not surprised on the nine on that one now that I'm looking at it again. Next card, Cade Cunningham, Donruss. Again, kind of looks like a base from the back, but Yellow Flood. This is our exclusive to the uh, Dollar Tree packs. I actually got this at GameStop. They had a sale. They were a dollar regular price, and they went on sale for like 70 or 65 or 70, 75 cents, something like that, super cheap. I picked up like, I don't know, six or eight of them, not a lot. Only one Yellow Flood per pack. And I think one of the first packs I opened had this key in. I pulled this out of the 5,000 subscriber giveaway video when I did 50 packs. Um, I think it's a pretty low pop car. There's not a lot of these around. Um, but again, Cade might have to hold to wait and see when it comes back next year. But can we get a 10 on this? All right. Yes, another 10. Awesome. Love to see it. Tens are getting stacked. Still only two nines, no eights. So pretty successful break so far. Here's another one. Pulled out of the 5,000 subscriber giveaway video. This is Ja, if you guys recognize the back of this card. This is the Chronicles card with Young Dolph in the background. And I know price spiked on these a while ago, and then they kind of went down and I thought it was gonna stay down, but they spiked again and now they've stayed high. I think PSA 10s of this still sell for like 200 bucks, somewhere in that range. So um, I wonder if they're doing like some pop control on this. So <laughs> the Ja Luminance card. The two that I had from the uh, the last, not the last video, but the two videos ago, um, PSA reveals, I got two nines on the Luminance, so I would not be surprised with the nine on this one. Oh my God, 10 on the Panini Chronicles, Ja Young Dolph card, very nice. So we so out of the 5,000 discover of giveaway video, we got two really nice tens from that video, so. No, I opened a lot of packs, didn't hit anything huge, I don't think, in that video, but nice to see those come back as gems. This is Giannis Revolution. This is the Cosmic Parallel. This one's actually serial numbered, 48 out of 100. This is from 2016. Pulled this out of a throwback, uh, or like a Flashback Friday video I did where I opened a, a whole box of 2016-17 um, Revolution, and overall that box was not great, but the one numbered card we hit was Giannis, and it looked really good to me, so I thought it was worth grading, so let's see. Oh yeah. Another 10. Love it. All right. I don't know. What do you guys think so far? Kind of getting better grades on the $18 sub. I don't know if it pays to spend that extra money for the 30 bucks. All right. Now we got some really big stuff. So now I'm not expecting 10s on any of this remaining stuff. Um, so hoping for nines on all these. This is Ginobili, number 25 of 50. This is going to be a Topps Chrome Gold Refractor. Um, and even when I bought this, I could tell centering is definitely off. I mean, it's it's heavy on the left, on the left to right, and even top to bottom is off as well. It's a little thicker on the top. But every, other than the, the little bit of centering issues on the front, everything else looks good. So hope uh, it's good enough to get a nine. Let's see. All right, there we go. PSA nine. I have another one at these of these at PSA right now, with better centering, better overall card, but it did have a dimple right here by the defender's knee. I know this one doesn't have it, so I don't know why <laughs> I might end up getting another nine back on this one. I'm hoping the one I sent in is good enough to get a 10. If it does, I'll probably sell this one and keep the 10. Um, and even, honestly, even, even if the other one gets a nine, I'll probably keep that one just because I like the centering better. I'd move this one, but very happy with the nine on that one. So it's more Ginobili gold refractors. Uh oh, I kind of forgot to put my thumb there. <laughs> hope you, hope I, I, didn't, I didn't see it. Hope you guys didn't see it. This one is Bowman Chrome from 0708, 52 out of 99. Looked pretty good. Uh, I didn't see really any white on the back with those dark edges and corners. Um, but again, front centering is definitely off. You can see it's a little thick on the left and skinny on the right. Was hoping maybe it's close enough to uh, PSA standards to get a 10. Let's see how we got this one. Ah, not surprised. 
but still nice to have, uh, still trying to slab all my Ginobili gold refractors from Bowman Chrome and Topps Chrome. Getting close to uh, honestly getting all of them. There's only a few I don't have yet. Here is one I picked up raw on eBay. Seven, all the, actually all these Ginobili gold refractors were bought raw on eBay. So to get mint nines is, is not bad. This one's numbered seven out of 50. This is 0405 Bowman Chrome. Um, back looks really good to me. A eh, little bit of white down in that bottom left corner. You can kind of see it right there. And I think the centering may have been a little bit off on this one too on the front. It's close, but it's a little heavy on the left, you can see. So again, maybe a 10 if I get lucky, but wouldn't be surprised with a nine. Let's see. Uh, another nine. Man, I cannot get a 10 on a Ginobili Gold Refractor. They've all been coming back nines, but that's okay. Last card. Nothing in the eight stack, by the way. That's pretty crazy with all, even with some older stuff, we're getting nines and tens on everything. Pick this up at the National Kobe uh, Top Stadium Club. This is the members only rookie. This is like the chrome card with the coating, bought it with the coating, kept the coating on. Um, it looked pretty good to me overall, the centering, uh, you know, surface corners, edges, didn't really see any issues, except it's hard to tell on the video. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see it. With the coating, you can kind of see some very little kind of micro bubbles. And I know they probably take that into the surface grade, but I didn't want to peel it and risk, you know, doing damage or something like that. So I like these with the peel on anyway. Um, a 10 would be ridiculous. I don't think we're going to get a 10, even though it looked mostly good so far. But from 96, probably the best I can hope for this is a 9. So let's see how we do on this one. All right. Very happy with a 9 on that. Wow. Again, wasn't expecting a 10, but I'm glad this did not get an 8. Got a lot of Kobe 8 rookies, so very happy to have one. One of them in a 9, so that's going to do it for the reveal. So what do you guys think? We got, on our $30 value sub, we got two 8s, two 9s, and the two 9s were in ultra-modern cards, so that's kind of a bummer. So we actually did better, I think, overall on the $18 sub. We didn't get any 8s. Um, the two 9s here were, were both ultra-modern, but we did get two uh, 10s on Giannis rookies, which is very nice. And then the two prism cards both got tens. Um, but then on the $18 bulk sub, I think we did even better. We got a bunch of nines, but really only two of the nines were on modern cards. The rest of the nines were on some bigger stuff, gold refractors, uh, Kobe rookies. So we got those nines there. We got no eights. And then we got a big stack of tens from 2016 Revolution and then 2019 Chronicles. And the rest was all ultra modern, all 2021 stuff. But we got tens on all these. The Giddy Purple Wave was really nice. The two Revolution Chinese New Year rookies. So I don't know. I think probably for the most part, unless I have a card that's super, super valuable, I'll probably send most things in at the at the bulk level. I think PS actually had changed their prices from $18 to $19 on these now, which is kind of unfortunate that they would raise it by a dollar. Not sure why they did that. Uh, but for the most part, I'll probably be sending most of my cards at that bulk level just because grades came back good and uh, it's a lot faster as well two months here compared to for whatever reason six months on the uh on the value sub from early june but that's gonna do it hope you guys enjoyed watching this one thanks for tuning in and i'll see you all on the next video